Hey, this is Mr. on the phone, and this video I'm going to show you guys how to use a box wine in Haiku OS. So, box wine is basically a software that is basically a Linux emulator that uses wine to allow you to be able to run Windows games and softwares within um, Haiku OS. But the disadvantage is that it can only run 32 bit softwares and games. And 32 bit is currently dying out, and 64 bit is what makes it makes um 32 bit look weak and old so yeah we no longer use 32 bit everyone is now using 64 bit um, but i was able to find some software to show as an example um that runs on a 32 bit and if you guys also have like some weird um older version of software such as microsoft word that is 32 bit or will have basically another software or game which is only 32 bit support then box Shrine is going to be great for you as it runs 32 bit softwares and games just fine anyway let's get started shall we so what i will do is click on to view and now click click on to full screen mode and now click on to switchy switch and now what i will do is now i'm going to go to the feather now click on to applications and then for applications i'll click on to hacker depot and this is what allow us to be able to start using um to basically allow us to start installing and then use it for software. So what I'm going to do is open up Hacker Depot. Now I'm going to type down Y. And now as you guys can see over here, here's Boxed Wine. Now click on to install and that should basically start installing for software. Once that's been installed, what you guys can now do is go back to the Feather, click on to Applications, and now click on to the software called Boxed Wine. On the first boot, you will see a pop-up message saying that if you guys want to install Wine, click on to yes, and then that error message should be gone. It's just to confirm if you want to install Wine, as there's no Wine installed for it to be able to use. Okay, let's get started with the user interface. So once you have Wine set up and do have um, fix that pop-up issue, we're going to see um, a screen like this. So this is a tab where I'll be able to view all of your applications that is like from Windows or can run on Linux. Um, this is a Linux emulator that runs on Wine. So as you guys can see here, we only have two softwares installed. You guys would only have one. But over here it shows up all the applications that we have installed as well as some games. And you'll be able to open them from this tab. So for example, if I open up Wine Mine, I can just double tap on it. And as you guys can see, it's just going to be launching Wine Mine. Okay, guys, so as now as you guys can see, we have Wine Wine Mine currently loaded up. And now I can click over here. Oh no, I hit the bomb. Isn't that so bad? And now I'll click over here on this, on this sad face and I can start playing again. Isn't this wonderful? So I'm now going to close out of it, um, and now it's going to be shutting down. I'm sorry about this weird glitch over here. <laughs> it seems very odd to me. Okay, so as you guys can see over here, I'm back to the user interface. So all you need to do is just to double click onto Wine Mine or Abbey Word if you just want to use that software. Now if you guys have no software currently on here, and we only have Wine Mine, but there's some software that you guys want to install from either for demos, or to be able to install it from the actual um, that you actually got installed on the computer, such as the exe file that we currently got, and we'll be able to install that exe file onto your computer. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now. So I want to go to install, as you guys can see over here, install, and then over here would be install type. So install using a setup program, so be able to select what type of install it is. And then from over here, setup file. So from over here, we need to look for the Windows executable file. And then from here will be container, and we can give it a name. We can give it what Wine version you want it to run, and what version of Windows. So I'm going to say Windows 7, um, just to show you guys how to basically install Notepad++, but for 32-bit systems. And now I'm going to click on to browse, and then once I click on to browse, we guys should be able to look for your EXE file. So I'm going to go click on to um, download, and I'm going to be selecting for 8.4.2 version. And now click on to open, and once I've clicked on to open, now click on to the install button. 
and now it should start launching Fire Installer. Okay, so I'm gonna select American English or do I just select English? Uh, I think I just select English. Uh, okay. So now I click on to next and then from here such is a license agreement. Um with J ain't any. Oh maybe it's loading. Okay, I, I guess it was loading. <laughs> and now what I would do is now I'm gonna click on to next. Um, create shortcut on desktop and now click on to install and that should basically start installing it uh, I'm gonna click on to show and show some stuff um, So I can see what it's what it's doing It should pretty much be a fire quick install It's just quite a small software which is just used for HTML coding basically or some other coding which you guys can do or it can be used as a notepad, um, such as just to take down some notes. But it's mostly used for coding. So I don't think it would take that long. <laughs> By just clicking on to finish, and that should open up Notepad++. Okay guys, so as you guys can now see, I have Notepad++ installed. And now I can start typing down some random stuff. It is a bit laggy, but I'm running this inside Wine, so it's kind of expected. But as you guys can see, I have um, Notepad++ installed. And now I'm going to shut down because I'm not going to wait ages for this to be done with my text. As this was just as an example of how I could do it if I had an exe file um, that you guys want to do download to the system. So as you guys can see here, you can create a shortcut, so I would normally just use this as my shortcut. And now as you guys can see here, we now got Notepad++ as our shortcut on our Applications tab. So now we can open up Notepad++, we can open up YMine, and we can also open up Abbey Word. And there's also another section called Demos. Once you click on to Demos, then there's going to be only like a small amount of software and some games. Which you guys will be able to install onto a computer. So this is a lot faster way of downloading downloading some stuff. Um, what I would do is just show some an example is I'm gonna be installing for software called 3D Mark 2001 SE 2002. Now click on to install. It does seem like it is launching 3D Mark 2001 SE. <laughs> Even though all I want to do is download it. Um, but once it has finished um, launching, then the guys should be able to go back to apps and then be able to see um, the software being installed. Anyway guys, I just want to say thanks so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it a lot, please put a like and please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.